In my last video, I demonstrated how you can post to Instagram from your laptop or desktop using Facebook's Creator Studio. The first step in that process is to switch your Instagram account from a personal to a creator account, but you can of course switch back at any time. To turn off the creator account in Instagram, click on your profile icon in the bottom corner of the app, followed by the menu icon in the top right corner of the screen and choose settings and then account. In the account menu, scroll to the bottom of the page and choose switch account type. You'll then be presented with the option to either switch to a personal or business account. Confirm you wish to make the switch by clicking on the option, noting that you will lose access to analytics and insights. And that's it, you'll receive confirmation your account is now once again a personal account and you'll no longer have access to insights in the settings menu. So that is how to turn off the creator account in Instagram. If you are interested in seeing how to upload to Instagram from a computer rather than the mobile app, then this is how you do it. Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can access the Facebook and Instagram Creator Studio, which is where you go to post your videos and photos to Instagram from your computer. I'll then walk you through posting one of my own videos so you can see the whole process from start to finish. I'll be following Facebook's official guide to do this, which I'll link to in the description below so you can follow along. Time tags are in the comments section so you can skip ahead at any time. So let's get started. To begin, as the guide stipulates, to access the Creator Studio, we first need to convert our Instagram account to either a business or creator account. Which one should you go for? Well, a business account is more for, is more for established companies. You get additional features such as being able to sell directly from your Instagram account and you can allow customers to book appointments and that kind of thing. Creator accounts, on the other hand, are more for people like me, individuals looking to make a name for themselves by creating content online and growing a fan base. Unless you are an established company, you'll probably want to opt to create a creator account. Switching to either account is completely free. It doesn't affect anything you've done previously on Instagram and both accounts get access to the Creator Studio, which is what you need to upload from your computer. To make the switch, click on the profile icon in the bottom right corner of your Instagram app, followed by the hamburger menu in the top right of the page. You then want to choose settings followed by account. And if you scroll down slightly, you'll see the option to switch to a professional account. Click continue to skip through the screens and you'll arrive at this screen where you'll be asked to select a category for your account. I'll choose digital creator and enable the option to display on profile. We then get the choice of a creator or business account. So I'll go with creator and then you have the option to go through these five steps. They're not compulsory, but you may wish to complete them anyway. I'll add a bio to my profile and that is stage one complete. The next step is to create a page for our Facebook account. So I'll switch over to the computer to do that. Click on the Facebook icon in the top left of the screen and choose pages followed by create new page. Give your page a name and a category. I'll call mine Wilson's Wall Art and as before, I'll be a digital creator. You can add bio details if you wish and when you're ready, click create page. At this point, you can take the time to develop your page by adding a profile picture, banner image and that kind of stuff. But for now, we'll skip over this and just hit save. The final step in the process is to link our Facebook account with our Instagram account, which we can do from the Creator Studio. To access the studio, browse to business.facebook.com forward slash Creator Studio. Or if you have the help guide open, you can access it from there. From this page, you can create posts from both Instagram and your new Facebook page simply by clicking on either icon up the top here. To link to your Instagram account, click on the icon and choose connect account. You will then be prompted to log into Instagram, which I do through my Facebook account. Click continue and we're then prompted to complete a few more steps in the Instagram app. So switch back over to your phone, click on your profile icon in the bottom 
right corner of the screen and this time choose Edit Profile. In our profile settings, we'll click on Page followed by Connect to an existing page. I'm not sure why my page is displayed twice here. Hopefully you'll only see your page once, unless of course you have several different pages, but choose which one you want to connect to and click Done. Back on your computer, click on OK and it should open in your Instagram Creator Studio page. If it doesn't or if nothing happens, instead you can try clicking on Try Again and reconnect to Instagram and this time you should be fine. So there we are. From here we can now post directly to our Instagram account. So let's go through uploading a video. Start by clicking on Create Post and then you can click on Add Content to add either a video or image. Here's the video that I've already prepared, so I'll choose this one. And I also have some text ready to go in a document, which I'll copy and paste into the caption window. You can choose to add your location, and if you scroll down slightly, you also have the option to publish your post on your Facebook page at the same time, which I'll choose to do. Instagram will use a still from the video as your cover image unless you have something else prepared, which I have, so I'll navigate to that. And finally, in the advanced settings, you have the option to turn off comments. When you're ready, you can click publish or you can click on the little down arrow to schedule your post to be published at a later time. You can separately amend the Facebook version of your post if you wish, otherwise you're all done. If we switch back over to Instagram on our phone, there is our new post in our timeline. So that is switching between creator and personal accounts in Instagram and uploading from a computer. Visit the website for more information about Instagram and lots of other apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.